Well, welcome to the annual Beastie NFL Week 6 picks that I do every week. Uh, mainly every Tuesday, just about. And we're going to make my predictions for week six. Week pick, week six picks. Because you don't get no sticks, because I'm a beast. First off, we're going to review last week's picks and see how accurate and correct I was. Week number uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Week cinco. Get off the screen. There's a night game. I picked the Colts. That's one for me. Picked the Bills. That's correct. Picked Green Bay. That's three. Jacksonville lost. Close game. 31-38. I picked Jacksonville. Picked the Baltimore Ravens. They lost in overtime. Picked the Eagles. I was riding that one. Saints are done. Picked the uh, Kansas City. And uh, Jamal Charles went down for a torn ACL. He's done. Bears won that one. Picked uh, Seattle. Seattle blew a 24-7 lead in the fourth quarter. <sighs> Picked Atlanta to beat Washington. They beat them overtime. Picked Arizona. That's a no-brainer. Picked New England. That's a no-brainer. Picked Denver. No-brainer. Picked the Giants. No-brainer. And I picked Pittsburgh. And I was right again. Extending my record to 5-0 picking Pittsburgh. Over the uh, five weeks, picked them. That was a crazy game. We had a recap on that. Check that out. Um, Bell on the Wildcat, five seconds left. Runs it in for a touchdown. Best running back in the league, of course. Steelers won. So overall, I got one, two, three, four wrong. And I was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 10 for 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 for 4. On to week number 6. Okay, first game is a Thursday night game, Atlanta at New Orleans. The offensive line for New Orleans ain't playing well. The defense is nothing but rookies. Pick Atlanta. Uh, Matt Ryan and Julio Jones will tear up this defense, and Devonta Freeman will beast it up. And surprisingly, Atlanta's defense is not that bad this year. Dan Quinn has made a change, and I was surprised he made he may he would make this big of an impact. Pick Atlanta on that one, thirty to fourteen. It's gonna be it's not gonna be a close game. Washington going to Dallas. Now this is a scratchy game because Washington can be a scratchy team. They can play tough, but. I'm picking the Jets in this one. Uh, plain and simple. Uh, I feel Fitzpatrick will manage the game good enough to win. Uh, 20 to 7, the Jets will win that one. Arizona going to Pittsburgh for a 1 o'clock game. Uh, you know, I'm going with Arizona on this one. Uh, this is, this is quite frankly, this is too much for Pittsburgh to. Because Arizona's four and one, they are a good team. They've been a good team for since two thousand. They've been a good team for a while now. And I just Vic just unless they open up the playbook and he can sling it a little bit. There's just I can't see Arizona losing to Pittsburgh. The only way we're gonna win that game is if Vic beasted it up and doesn't turn the ball over and Bell gets plays as Bell and Brown opens up. Brown's not the problem. It's just there's no timing, no rhythm between Vic and Brown. That's the issue. Uh, the defense is playing great. One of the best defenses playing right now, I believe. Um, they're going to have to step it up even big time more. They're going to have to play how they've been playing. and That's the only way we're going to win, but I think Arizona will beat us. Uh, I will say 34-21, 34-23. Somewhere of a 10-point, two, two, uh, two-possession lead, I believe. But... You know, we play tough, so I think it's possible, but I believe Arizona will win that one. The Chiefs going to Minnesota. Um, I got Minnesota winning this one. Quite frankly, uh, no Jamal Charles. Alex Smith is an ultimate game manager. AP will ultimately beat that defense by himself. And due to the insufficient offense of Kansas City, Minnesota won that one. Eh, 20-3, 20-10. to 
somewhere in that facility area. Since he going to Buffalo, I could see Buffalo in this, but they won't. Tyrod Taylor's out. Cincinnati's playing good. Cincinnati will pull the win out, 30 to 20, 30 to 13. Since he's just playing really good right now, um, odds are they're gonna play. Odds are they're gonna play us undefeated. Uh, meaning they will they will win this game, have a bye week, and they they will come to Pittsburgh, and that will be a showdown for sure. Chicago and Detroit. I got Chicago in this one. Detroit's playing terrible. They're a bad team. They are really bad. Uh, not really surprised. Their own five. Their schedule is pretty tough, and they're just no running. No running game whatsoever. Stafford's inconsistent. Um, pick Chicago on that one. Detroit is bad. Plain and simple. Denver going to Cleveland. I believe this could be a scratchy close kind of game. 9-13, 9-6. Due to the fact that Peyton Manning is a game manager now at his juncture. Decent running game out of Denver, but their defense is beastie. Um, they're the number one defense right now playing. Statistically, and I believe they are the number one defense right now. Uh, go Denver, win that one. I don't think McCall will pass for over 400 yards again. Uh, pick Denver in that one. Somewhere like 23-13, uh, 23-6. Something like that. Houston going to Jacksonville. I got Jacksonville winning this one. Jacksonville, uh, they will win this game. Houston's not really. It's, it's going to be a close game. Houston's just no quarterback. That's their problem. Miami going to Tennessee. I got Tennessee winning this one. Miami's fired Joe Philbin and their defensive coordinator. That's too much change, even with the bye week added. I believe Mariota will pick apart this defense, which is crazy to believe, but I believe he's doing pretty good. I'm surprised. Carolina going to Seattle. This is a tough one. This is really one of Carolina's their first big test. I got Seattle winning this one. Eh, it's going to be crazy. Beast mode needs to come back for Seattle to win. Plain and simple. San Diego going to Green Bay. Uh, pick Green Bay in this one. Of course, they're at home. They're a beast team at home. Aaron Rodgers is a... He's, he's just good. Rod, Phillip Rivers is good, but... From what I saw, the Chargers offensive line is terrible. And not really much of a running game there, honestly. Green Bay will beat this team 30-20, to 34-20. Baltimore going to San Francisco. Pick Baltimore. Uh, both teams are not playing good, but Flacco is better than Kaepernick, and Flacco has, you know, I don't even know that offense is lost. But I, I, th I believe Baltimore won that game. Eight minutes, okay. New England going to Indianapolis. This is going to be a beat down, 42-10, 42-13. Indianapolis will get blown out. Brady will shred this team, even with luck playing. They're going to get killed. This will be bad. It's going to be one of those classic New England games where they just pour the scores on. Philly going against the Giants Monday Night Football. I believe the Eagles will win this game. I don't really believe in the Giants. Even though they did win. I mean, yeah, you win a close game against San Fran, but how much is that really saying? San Fran's a bad team, and you ultimately almost lost to them in a close game. I'm picking the Eagles to win that game. Yeah, 27 to 20, 27 to 23. It's gonna be a close game though. All right, got Atlanta, New York, Arizona, Minnesota, Cincy, Chicago, Denver, Jacksonville, Tennessee, Seattle, Green Bay, Baltimore, New England, and da -da -da -da, Philly. That's my picks. Use them because I've been pretty accurate this season. Soon enough, I will calculate the percentages so I can get an idea of how accurate I have been this season. That's the video. Adios.